Inspired on Liberty Radio. Good evening and welcome to Be Inspired. May God bless you abundantly. No matter what you are going through right now, no matter what you're facing, God is your strength and He can give you the power to overcome any obstacle, any problem, any adversity that you are facing right now. If you're watching me, let it be known that the God we serve is a living God and He can pull you out of the pit. I would like you to get your Bible ready, open in the book of Psalms chapter 16 and we're going to listen to a song now actually based on this psalm and we'll come back immediately after the song to talk about what the Word of God tells us and how we should live our life. Don't go anywhere, get your Bible ready, we'll be back in a moment. I have said the Lord always before me because He is at my right hand. I will not be shaken. I have said the Lord always before me because He is at my right hand. I will not be shaken. I will not be shaken. I will not be shaken 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 Welcome back. A beautiful song based on the Bible. In fact, 
uh, nowadays it's very hard, very difficult to find songs that are actually based on the Bible. Many, in fact, many Christian songs nowadays are more based on emotions than anything else. But let's see what the Word of God says in the book of Psalms, Psalm 16, verse 8. The Bible says, I have set the Lord always before me. That means ahead of me. Because He is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. This is very powerful. Please put the verse there again. Let's just read one more time. I have set the Lord always before me because He is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. The psalmist here shows us two important things. First of all, that God has to always be ahead of us in our decisions, in our identity, in what we think about. That's, that's the first thing. And we know that whether in churches or outside churches, people don't usually do this. They put themselves ahead of God. They put family ahead of God. They put everything ahead of God. Everything. They don't say that, of course, because it's not politically correct to say that God is at the end of the queue. So no one says that. But in reality, that's what many people do. But the Bible says here that those who set the Lord ahead of them, before them, they will not be moved. This is the purpose. This is the spirit that we passed to people on Sunday when we spoke about the tithe. And in fact, I was meditating on this. I have Pastor David here with me this evening. Good evening, Pastor David. Good evening, Bishop. I was meditating on this. This is not something we spoke about only on Sunday. This has been the spirit we've been speaking to those who are in the church and who are tithers. Uh, we, we've been speaking about this since last year because you will remember last year on two occasions we gave to people a sticker yes. that says, I am second. This is what it means to have the Lord ahead of you, for Him to go before you. It means that we come second in everything. A person who is truly faithful to God, who is a tither, they think first of God, they think first of honoring God, of being faithful to God with everything that comes to their hands, and then they think of their commitments, their uh, the things they want to achieve, they want to buy. But the faithfulness to God uh, when it comes to the tithe comes first. And when a person puts that in practice, Pastor David, then because God is at their right hand, they will not be moved. Yes, Bishop, and they will always go in the right direction. Right? We're, we're beginning the year of 2022 now, and what better time <clears throat> than now than to put God first, to make sure that He's going ahead of you, so that everything you do in 2022, not only are you going to be successful, but when the problems come, like you said, we're not going to be moved. You know, uh, we were even speaking earlier today in the service, giving the example of when, when you're driving somewhere with someone, you're in one car, then you have another person in another car. They, you need to get somewhere. They know the way, so you're going to go with them. They're going to drive, you're going to drive, you're going to go together. W where do you put that person, right? They, they don't drive behind you. Mm -hmm. right? They drive in front of you. They have to go ahead of you because they know the way and you are to follow them. It's the same with God. When a person puts God first in everything, from the beginning of the year right mm -hmm. up to the end, they will always go in the right direction and anything that comes their way, they're going to stand firm. And, and we see... Pastor David, that in this world, nothing is permanent. You know, think about it. They are, they are very, or there were very big uh, stores, worldwide chains that today don't exist anymore. Think about it. Remember Toys R Us? Try to find a Toys R Us store. You can try, but you will not be successful because they stopped trading. As far as I know, 
they stopped trading on the high street. You who are here from the UK, remember Woolworths. Remember Woolworths, a store that you would go in and you would find everything there. Remember Debenhams. As far as I know, is Debenhams, this, do they still exist? Debenhams, but into the administration. I think right. they went. So the point we're trying to make is this, is that the world we're living in, nothing is permanent. But when we put God ahead of us, we will not be moved. Please, let's look at this Bible verse again. This is something we have to live our lives by. I have set the Lord always before me. Because He is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. So when we are faithful to God, we have the guarantee, we have the assurance to know that even though the world is changing outside, you know, we live in a world of waves. Sometimes there is a wave of prosperity, then there is a wave of recession, a wave of illness like we are facing right now. But with God, there are no waves. <laughs> you know, I was reading today, ah, very powerful. It's, it's extremely powerful. Uh, I was reading, the Bible says that it is impossible for God to lie. Think book of Hebrews, chapter 6, something like that. It says Impos it's impossible for God to lie. So in a world that changes constantly, when we are secure in this, on this word, we will not be moved. Things may be closing down. Things, we, we had a young lady who gave a testimony here yesterday, Monday in the service and she said, Bishop, I challenge God. She has a job, but she also has an online business. And she said, Bishop, I challenged God in the weeks prior to the new year. And I said, Lord, in my online business, I want to hit this target of sales. And she said the target she set was she used her faith, but she said, Bishop, it was impossible. But before the end of the deadline that she gave herself, she had already reached the target. So she gave God another target. And even that target, which was more impossible, she broke through that target. In a time of recession, recession, in a time of, you know, Pandemic. people are unstable because of uh, COVID and so on. She never experienced this before. Why? Because when God goes ahead of us, we are not going to be moved. The world can be moved. Whatever happens outside can be moved. But those who are faithful to God, they are not moved. Yes, and Bishop, it's, not, it, it's a certainty. The person can believe this because it's written. It's like the young man was saying yesterday on, on the program, that because it's written, it has to happen. So everybody who believes, who puts God first, it will be that, they won't be moved. Things will happen around them, lots of horrible things perhaps, but it's certain that they're going to continue to break through. That's it. My dear friend, I would like to pray for you who want to keep putting God ahead of you. In fact, if you haven't done that yet, if you are not, you haven't yet decided to become a tither, to become faithful to God, with the 10% of your income, of your earnings, like the Bible says. I know many people criticize the church for this, but here's the thing. If you would like to erase the tithe from the Word of God, you're going to have a hard time because there's going to be a lot of pages that you have to rip out of your Bible. Because throughout the Bible, the Bible speaks about tithing, about offering. You know, people... Uh, they, they find, uh, sometimes they find it easy to criticize the church because of tithing, because of offerings. And when they see that the church is open seven days a week, on Christmas time, uh, Pastor David, you know this better than anyone because you helped us organize this. We had volunteers here serving food, Christmas lunches for people who had no food to eat at home. And when we do that, when we do all this work, when we open seven days a week, we have a 24-hour helpline. Many people say, ah, but you're doing your job. That's your job. That's what you should do. We can't win with some people. So we're, we're not worried about those who have this mentality. But we want you who are sincere, who are honest, and you truly want to follow God the way that the Bible describes. Put Him ahead of you in this year of 2022. 
the decade of strength. Put God ahead of you and you also shall not be moved. Please, let's join our faith right now. Let's pray for those who have put God ahead of them and will continue to do so and those who want to decide to do that from today. Let's talk to God. My Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we, as usual, we end this program with this prayer because we know that every time that we mention your name and we approach the throne of grace using your name, we are already in your presence. And we know, my Father, that right now we have a chain of hundreds of people, who knows even thousands of people who are listening to this program, this prayer in different, uh, different mediums through Liberty Radio, YouTube. But I want to ask you, my Lord, for those who have made a vow to always put you ahead of them, those who've made a vow, maybe now, through this program, during this program, they are making a vow to be faithful to you from now on, from today, my Lord, that this word here may be fulfilled in their life, that even though the world is being moved, everything is being moved, but Father, I ask you that you look after your people, that they will never be moved because they have you at their right hand as their partner on the side of strength, that they will never be moved my Lord, my Father, I deliver all of these people in your hands and I bless the tithers of your house, those who honor you ahead of everybody else. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. This Sunday will be the consecration of the tithers. We're going to be anointing all the tithes. Prepare your tithe if you haven't done that yet to present your tithe on the altar on Sunday. And tomorrow we have something very, very special to talk to you about. Tomorrow we are going to be speaking, Pastor David, about soul raising. Soul raising. What is soul raising? And ah, my dear friend, the services tomorrow will be special, magnificent. Bring your Bible. Prepare yourself because we are going to learn what soul raising is all about and we are going to go head first into the spirit of soul raising in this year of 2022. There's only one thing that matters, our soul and the souls of those who are suffering. Join us tomorrow, 7.30 in the morning. Sorry, not 7.30, 7 a.m., 7 in the morning, 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and... 7.30 in the evening, all right? If you are part of the VYG, of course, we have the real talk in Finsbury Park at uh, 6 o'clock. Different churches uh, have different times. But whether you're here in Finsbury Park or uh, in one of the branches, I'm sure that the Holy Spirit will be speaking to you there. May God bless you abundantly. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye. <laughs>